Morning folks, it's Saturday 18th and I wanted to talk to you about moving the fire. Now, whenever you need to make a change in your life, let's say fat loss, which some of you call weight loss, but it is fat loss. Let's start there. You don't want to lose weight. You want to lose fat. Now, fat is a very emotive subject. If I said, you're fat, or you said, you're fat, or your friend said, you're fat, you might get a little bit upset. But fat is a bit like wood or metal or muscle or it is just a name we give a substance of matter that's all it is okay so fat exists in your body you still need some of it it's really really good it's really really healthy but maybe you've got too much so it'd be awfully healthy if you wanted to lose some of that fat you don't necessarily want to lose weight you want to lose fat for example I had a new client come on board about three weeks ago and they said i need to lose weight my doctor said i need to lose some weight i said okay great what does um, fit and healthy mean in terms of weight loss then they said well it means i can be fit and healthy i said okay so you have to lose weight to be fit and healthy is that what you're saying yes how much do you weigh at the minute 15 stone okie dokie and it's impossible to be fit and healthy at 15 stone eh, i'd say it's impossible but nobody's really fit and healthy at 15 stone wonderful i am 17 and a half stone does that mean i am not fit and healthy See what I'm saying? It's not about weight loss, it's about fat loss. Now, yes, it's different given if you're taller, shorter, and everything like that, but either way, no matter your height, no matter your physical predisposition, you still need to lose fat. If you think you're overweight, you're probably just over fat. If you need a bit of fat, but you don't need loads. This brings us on to moving the fire. So, when you start your journey, of fat loss not just weight loss becoming physically fitter healthier mentally healthier more clarity purer in your food you know um, higher calorie dense foods you will lose some fat like i said in yesterday's video it doesn't really matter what you're doing in particular as long as you're swimming deep and committing hard on a particular passion you're going to make some progress so when you start making that progress the worst thing you do is move away from the fire which means sometimes you stop making progress because you've set your pain point at 18 stone of largely fat potentially now as soon as you start to move away from that point you start to move away from the fire now the problem with moving away from the fire is one of the biggest and best ways to make progress or something is light a fire under your ass but as you start to step away from the fire, your urgency and your desire to continue to sustain that effort, that hard effort, becomes less because you don't feel the pain of the fire because you're not as close to it as you used to be. Let's say, for example, you had 16 stone on your, on your frame, but it was a large proportion of fat and you started to lose two or three centimeters um, over the course of a couple of weeks. Uh, around your hips, around your neck, around your upper arms, and you start to physically see a change in your body, you may have experienced some weight loss, i.e. weight loss in the terms of fat, but you may have increased your muscle mass as well. So your weight may not have moved much, but physically you look better because your hips and your waist may have gotten smaller, your arms may have gotten smaller, your neck's gotten smaller, the weight's come off your face, and there's less pain associated with your condition now than when you started the big danger with this is as you move further away from the fire you move further away from the pain that got you to the level you are at now you associated strongly with the pain that forced you to take action and that got you to where you are so what you now need to do is head back grab that fire and drag it to where you are now, I know you're thinking, why on earth would I bring the fire right next to me again? That's exactly what I wanted to get away from. The fire stands for your pain point. The fire represents your pain point. And this pain point is the point of action. When something gets so bad, you've got to do something about it. Yeah? Like if you're in a really unhealthy relationship and it forces you to have that conversation because you're like, I've hit the pain point, we need to sit down and talk about this. Yeah? You sit down and talk about it and it gets a little bit better. Yeah? Now, the truly great relationships, in my limited experience, and I'm not a relationship expert by any stretch of the imagination, are for those that are willing to have uncomfortable conversations when necessary. So if things get a little bit better, but you would still like them to be better again, 
then it's about having another conversation, acknowledging things that have gone well, but acknowledging what needs to improve. And this is exactly what you need to do with yourself. So when you start experiencing fat loss, when you increase your cardiovascular ability, when your strength and conditioning increases, when your measurements decrease, it's about sitting down and having yet another uncomfortable conversation at this new location, acknowledging what has gone well, look how far we've come, that's fantastic, and then light a fire right there where you stand and say, right, this is the new pain point, we need to move forwards. Because with most people, unless you're a professional athlete, and this is even for a professional athlete, they're not where they want to be yet, I promise you, they've got goals, that's why they compete every day to push themselves against something. Most of us are not where we want to be, we are on the journey to where we want to go. So the only way you're going to make progress along that journey is getting further away from the fire, so you have to keep moving it closer to you. That will encourage you to continue to make progress as you associate pain to the point where you're at now and pleasure with where you want to get to. Only then can you truly enjoy the journey of physical and mental transformation and pick the next mountain, pick the next destination, pick the next challenge because we are success machines. We are chemically designed to make progress in life. So if you've made progress so far, fantastic, congratulations, well done. It's Sunday, take this moment in the morning to acknowledge it. And then this afternoon, as you go into the next week, light that fire right where you are now and push yourself hard into the next week to overcome those next challenges and get those next wins. Hope you have a great Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow.